we're going to talk about corners and sides of shapes. This is lesson 10.4. We can count the corners and sides of a shape. A square has four corners and four sides. And all the sides are the same length. They're the same size. We can see the corners. One, two, three, four. And we can see each side. One, two, three, four. Four sides. And because it's a square, all the sides are the same length. We can use dotted grid paper to make shapes. You can find these on the internet. Just type in dotted grid paper and they'll come in different sizes. Some of them have the dots very close together and some of them have them far apart like this one. And we can connect the dots to make shapes. The triangle has one, two, three corners and one, two, three sides. They're not always the same size. Sometimes this, these two sides are longer and this one's shorter, but it's still a triangle because it has three corners and three sides. And the dots can help us to draw the sh shapes large or small. Here I made one large triangle. I went way up here and went all the way down to this corner, to this corner, and then back up again. We can see it has three sides, one, two, three, and three corners. One, two, three corners. I made some smaller ones by connecting different dots. These are all still triangles. They all still have three corners and three sides. So we can make big ones or little ones. See? A square has four sides and four corners. One side, two side, three side, four side, and one, two, three, four corners. All the sides are the same length. I had to go one, two, three, four dots across and one, two, three, four dots down for every side. And then they were the same length. See? We can make them different sizes as long as the sides are the same length. Now I did three units. One, two, three across, and one, two, three down. See? And they're all the same length, and it still has four corners. Here I made some littler ones. I went one unit across, one unit down, and made a small square. I went two units across and two units down to make a medium size one. Just remember, a square has the sides that are all the same size, okay? Each side is the same length. A rectangle has four sides and four corners. One side, two side, three side, four side, and four corners. One, two, three, four. I made a big one by going four units across and three units down because a rectangle's sides are not all the same length. It's going to have long sides and short sides for it to be a rectangle. So I went four across and three down. Here I made some smaller ones. I went three across and one down. And I went four across and one down. They still make a rectangle as long as these two sides are long and these are shorter. You can even make it go this way. If I turn my camera, we can make it go one across and four down, see? or one across and three down. As long as you've got two sides that are the same length and then two sides that are another length. That'll make a rectangle. Here I made different sizes. This is going two units across and one unit down. This is going three units across and two units down. And look at this real big one. Because the paper was a rectangle, I was able to go one, two, three, four, five units across and four units down and make a really big rectangle. See? It's different from the square because the square has the same units across and same units down. See? This one is going to be different across than down. Let's do some problem solving. 
Tala drew a plain shape, that means a flat shape, that had four corners and four sides that were all the same length. I'm supposed to say were all the same length. Okay? What shape did she draw? So we have to think, what shape fits these clues? What shape would have four corners, four sides, that are all the same length? Okay? It's got four corners. So let's draw four corners. One corner, two corner, three corner, four corners. And it's got four sides that are all the same length. So we can go one length, two length, three length, four length. They're all the same length. And what shape fits this? Well, if you said square, you're right. A square has four sides that are all the same length. Okay? How about this one? Emma drew a plain shape that had one less corner and one less side than Tala's shape. What shape did she draw? So we have to think, well, Tala's had four corners and four sides. So if Emma's had one less of each, it had four minus one. So it had three corners and it had four minus one sides. So it had three sides. And what shape has these clues? What has three corners and three sides? If we were to look at the shapes we drew, what has three corners and three sides? Well, a triangle does, doesn't it? It's got one, two, three corners and one, two, three sides. So we know that Emma drew a triangle. She drew a triangle, didn't she? All right. Now, for those of you who can handle it, here is a step to higher math. A corner is called a vertex. And a vertex is the place where two lines meet. So let's look at this. A vertex is a place where two lines meet. So we know that's a corner, right? But look, this line is meeting this line right at the corner. So that corner is also called a vertex. This area right here is called a vertex, okay? So that's for those of you who can handle taking another step up, all right? You're going to learn about that in the next few years. So now you can say you've heard of the word vertex, okay? But you can call it corner for now. You're just in second grade. We're going to continue on talking about shapes. And we're going to talk about shapes that are equal to each other and are the same shape, okay? It's called congruent. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.